to its 10 and its 1. I've got 3 tens, which is 30, and 5 ones, so that is 30 plus 5. 12 is 1 10 plus 2 ones. Okay, so that's step 1. The next step would be to draw a large box. Okay, and on this box, we're going to put both of our expanded numbers. So on the top, I'm going to put 30 plus 5, and on the side, I'm going to put 10 plus 2. Where your plus signs are, I want you to draw lines through the middle and down it. And then in the very corner, we're still multiplying, so I'm going to put a big multiplication sign. Starting with our very first number on the top, we say 10 times this, 10 times that. So first, we're going to do 10 times 30. Sometimes it gets a little tricky when we um, have those extra zeros on there when we're multiplying by a 10. So I like to say 1 times 3 is 3, and how many zeros do we have? We've got two, so we attach them to the end of the number. So 10 times 30 is 300. We did 10 times this, 10 times that. 10 times 5 is 50, so it goes in the first box. And then we do 2. We go down to the 2 because we're done with the 10. 2 times this, 2 times that. So 2 times 30. 2 times 3 is 6, and between both of these numbers, I've only got the one zero, so I attach it to the end. 2 times 30 is 60. 2 times this, 2 times that. Now I'm going to do 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. I filled up all my numbers on the inside. Now all I have to do is add them up. So over here I'm going to add. 300, and I like to check them off as I go, 50, 60, and 10. Make sure you line up your places too. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, those are zeros all the way down, so 0. 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 1 more is 12. Bring that 2 and carry that 100. 3 plus 1 is 4, and that is your answer. 35 times 12 equals 420.